it's time to stop the music. Oh, sounds like the music already stopped. All right, nice. All right. What happened to my jamming music? All right, it's time to turn on the lights. Boink! There we go. All right. It's time to put on the apron for the David Yourself show tonight. Yeah. All right. Let's get this group on. Let's get this therapy session on, friends. Let's get this therapy session on. All right. So who we got up and going on tonight? Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here at the David Yourself channel. Hopefully everybody is still getting this stream. Let me know if you are. I certainly hope you are. Looks like we're a couple of seconds behind on the actual stream itself, but hopefully you're able to see everything here. So thank you so much for everybody for being here. I greatly appreciate it. And grab out the old grab out the old uh, show notes here. See what we got going on, and then we will go over the uh, items of the day. All right, drink of choice in hand. Yes, and duty, duty, and duty, duty. Eddie McDooderton. All right. So, yes, sir. Thank you so much for being here with After Dinner with Dave on Sunday nights at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to give a uh, personal heartfelt thank you to all of my subscribers and all of my random viewers and things of that nature as well. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, let's see what we've got going on here. I don't see where I happen to be showing up on the stream just yet so i guess we'll wait and see about that can you guys see me yet cannot see you all right it looks like we might have ourselves a camera issue i'm going to reset right here i know you guys can hear me at least hopefully so let's see what we've got going on here all right so bear with me a second let's see if that comes on back here hopefully i should be in okay shape Oh my goodness. Here I was spending lots of time today to get all this set up properly, and yet, for some reason, boo! It's giving me some issues here, it looks like. Well, I'll be darned. Well, that sucks. Alright, so can you guys hear me? I guess. Dang it. Let me try. Stop recording, but keep the stream going. See if that helps. I mean, I got to throw the chat up there at least. I don't know if you guys can see me or hear me, but uh, I see EQRC. EQRC said he can't see me, but maybe they can hear me. I'm going to try two things. I'm going to try to unplug this camera real quick. All right, so let's see if either one of these happened to work. I'm so sorry, friends, because again, here I was spending all of this time getting ready for this show. Nothing is perfect, bro. We are patient. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Hamilton. Yeah, man, I don't know what's going on here with this uh, camera thing, Medugal. And I don't necessarily want to stop the stream, but I do have stuff going on here. So, I guess since you can't see me, bear with me a quick second. Let me try to jiggle that camera. You know how that might work. that's going to work, but we will certainly try it. Maybe I'll get lucky. Probably not. All right, friends, so we're four minutes in. I'm going to stop the stream real quick and try again, so bear with me. I'm so, so sorry. Let's see if that comes back. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Nothing is perfect. I get it. Stream's still alive, at least for you guys able to see me. But, yep, I still do not see myself on the camera, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. I am so, so sorry. All right, so anyway, the show must go on, as they say. So, you guys just don't get to see my beauty today. You just have to imagine how great I look. Which is the usual, so not fantastically great. But uh, so again, thank you so much for everybody for being here. I am so sorry that you cannot see me. I do not know what's going on. I literally tested this pretty much all day today. Everything looked great. 
had no issues so now I'm on the actual stream and of course now there are some issues so I'm not sure exactly what's going on there so let me know if you guys can hear me in the stream at least because I can see that going and I do have some uh, screenshots and things like that here so we'll go with that but goodness gracious I tell you this has just been a perfect cap for the end of this week folks let me tell you this thing has just been uh, something else do I show up yet no I do not <laughs> I'm still invisible lights are on everything's running but for some reason now that I'm actually streaming, now my camera's not working. So that is fantastic, let me tell you. Oh, good grief. All right, I'm going to try this one last time. Bear with me, friends. All right. We're going to try something else here, friends. I'm sorry. Tap F8. Tap F8. Okay, I'm going to try.
work? Now will this work? Now are we working? Oh my gosh, are we working yet? This is ridiculous. Episode 13, folks, I tell you, it's a, it's a good one. It looks like my microphone is working. It looks like my camera is working. Welcome to episode 13. Woo! Nothing like some good and lucky luck to get you right into a new episode. So I uh, hopefully everybody's still here. I have no idea if you are. If you are, then goodness gracious and thank you for your patience, everybody. I've got a thought I had a bunch of RC pilots in the uh, in the chat here, but I clearly have a bunch of busy doctors because you people are all loaded with patience. So thank you. And speaking of that horrible, horrible joke segue, we're going to get back into joke of the day. So I told you last episode, everybody, to bring your jokes. So I have a couple of jokes here. Um, yes, uh, it is a miracle. Oh, my gosh. Uh, drink of the day, Tangerine Tito's. Tangerine Tito's bottle, by the way, is almost empty, so there will most likely be a new drink of the day, and I'm sure this drink bottle is going to be empty by the end of this episode, because it's already been a pain in the nougats. So cheers up for the rest of the video that hopefully goes well, and I appreciate you sticking with me. This just is perfect cherry on the entire Sunday of what was this week, so... Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, whipped cream, bananas, nuts. Oh, nuts on Thursday. And then, of course, and boop today. So thank you for being here. So anyway, nonetheless, joke of the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, we're going to get to joke of the day. From there, I'm going to put up a couple of jokes. These are a couple of jokes that um, are from a famous comedian. And the first one to identify which comedian it is in the stream... We'll get three of your names going into the hat. We also have Know Your Neighbor going on today. And I happen to know that the actual person that I have their video shot from is in the stream tonight. So if you're in the stream, don't leave because this thing might be about you at some point. So stick around for that. And then, uh, so we got Joker of the Dave. I also have Word of the Dave coming up. So you're going to learn something new. And I'll have that on the screen coming for you. So, but with this particular one, we're going to start it off because we're going to get the episode. This episode needs some laughs now at this point, like nobody's business. So we're going to start off with that. So we're going to start with Joke of the Dave. So if I'm going to go ahead and put my stars in the uh, comments and uh, the first person to um, identify this particular person or this actual comedian, if I can get my stream back up. Anyway, I know you guys can see me, but for goodness gracious, this stream is ridiculous right now. I tell you. All right, so anyway, here we go. Joke of the Dave. I think you get the point. So here we go. Joke of the Dave. First joke is dogs are forever in the push up position. Dogs are forever in the push up position. Does uh does that uh does that ring a bell for anybody? Does that joke ring a bell for anybody? Alright, so we're gonna go into the next joke, which is going to be da da Maybe. Here we go. Now, this one may give it away, so you tell me if, if this does give it away, but you tell me who you think this is. And then this joke is, I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to, too. <laughs> also classic. Very funny. So anyway, so who is that? Who happens to be that comedian? Who knows that? I'm going to see if I can pull this stream back up, because both of my, now my, uh, even though this video is working, my peripheral devices are no longer working so there's that uh so anyway so let me see if i can get into the stream here real quick and see who's got so mitch hedberg hamilton's hanger yes sir i just came up here and finally got on there and you're right that is mitch hedberg congratulations hamilton's hanger you are the same have the same type of humor type i do rip to mr hedberg one of the finest comedians out there also with uh you know a problem that unfortunately took his life so yes thank you so much so that was joke of the dave so i hope you guys appreciate that so now is your time to go ahead and throw up your jokes in the chat i got the chat up live and nice and large so uh who's got who's got some jokes who's got some jokes to make dave laugh so sherry is going to get himself uh what did I say? Three names? Did I say three names? Well, I just said three names now. So three names going into the new hat, uh, which is going to be for the next prize coming up after we do the uh, 500 giveaway for the Arrows F15. Um, and uh, then we're going to do um, 
so whoever can make me laugh with their jokes in the stream and i kind of gave you a hint last week to uh, you know copy paste it from some word document somewhere so you don't have to peck it out and misspell it or whatever but nonetheless if anybody brought any jokes throw them in the stream if you make me laugh i will pay you out with another name in that <laughs> so there's that so we've got the uh, chat going on there so let me go ahead and throw this back up there so i can see a little bit of that chat action up there and i'm also going to do some shout outs some more shout outs while you guys are doing that see who else we got up in here and i greatly appreciate all of you super busy doctors having all of that patience <laughs> all those patience to be able to deal with me during this live stream thing i'm glad it's finally back working hopefully it sounds okay and hopefully the stuff i did learn from youtube <laughs> earlier this morning about making these settings happen Hopefully, uh, all of that is coming together to fruition. If not, well, let me know. <laughs> put a thumbs up or a thumbs down in the chat, obviously. I always want to try to put it out there. So, who else we got up in here tonight? So, thank you so much again for everybody being here. So, I've said hello to Tughill and EQ and Che and then Brian Ford, of course, Shadow Ops, Musky Bob's in the house. Musky, good to see you, sir. Been watching videos here a little bit lately as well. RC Rowland, always good to see you, sir. Thank you so much for being here. appreciate that. And uh, Musky, thank you for your tips about doing that, as well as you, Shadow Ops, as well, for giving me some tips about how to try to get through this OBS. Again, I'm using a free program. A lot of you probably use it. Um, it does have some neat functions, but but, you know, when you're uh, being pecked on by somebody that doesn't have neat functions going out of here, yeah, they don't necessarily meet all the time. Um, so anyway, so I appreciate you guys being here and sticking around for that. And then again, hello to my mother. I see her in the, shot, in the chat. So thank you so much for being here, Mom. I appreciate it. And I know that probably bugged her out as well, hoping that that would come back through. So I see old Boss223 in the house. Thank you so much for being here. Always great to see you as well. Uh, and then who else we got up in here? And do, 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 do. McDale, hey, I've got McDale in the house tonight. Now, McDale, I can tell you right now, my friend, I appreciate you being here, but I can tell you right off the bat, because you've got a very unique name, I can tell you that you are not on my bingo board. So before I forget, I'm going to throw you on my bingo board. So, uh, Tech Dale, uh, if you happen to have a favorite letter, B I N G O, let me know, and I'm going to go ahead and throw you on my bingo board, and I'll tell you what number you got. So that's uh, MacDale, MacDale. So yes, sir. If I said tech, that's the Tito's talking. MacDale. Thomas Milano. Hello, sir. Good to see you as well. Glad to see you. Always good to see you. Nathaniel Pulling. Hey, good to see you too. It's always good to see a bunch of group folks up in here. Got 13 folks or 11 folks up in here, something like that. It's fine. I'll take as many as I can get. I'll, I'll talk to one person if they'll stick around. G. MacDale says G. All right, my friend. You are going to get G. And you are going to go, you know what, you're going to go next to my buddy, oh, EQRC at G57. MacDale, you are going to be G58. All right, my friends, so stick around to the end of the episode, because with uh, Bingo, you do have to be here to win. So uh, with the arrows F15, you did not, but uh, but with the Bingo, you did. So, oh, and speaking of that, I didn't uh, jazz up my Bingo box when I got in here. Maybe that's the problem. Jazz up the bingo box. There we go. I know you guys probably can't see that a whole heck of a lot, but I'll throw it on out there so you can see. Got the bingo box going now. All right, so we've got the good lights on that. Oh, you still couldn't see that. There we go. Now I got the bingo box going on. Hi. Technical difficulties. Anyway, all right, so we're back to where we were at. So, yes, sir, so we've got you on that McDill, so we've got you squared away with that. What else do we have going on on my dealio? So now that we are actually live again, you can see this. I got my favorite, uh, another one of my fun shirts and fun socks, of course. Uh, this fun shirt right here uh, pretty much goes to all the guys in the group, but uh, protect your nuts. Yep. This shirt is near and dear to me, not specifically for the nuts part, but the squirrels part. I live in a place that is, uh, basically it's a Disney place and... Uh, it has plenty of spring lifetime going on right now, including squirrels. There's like seven or eight that are in the yard all the time. And then uh, Fun Socks, uh, brand, pair number two of the Zoltar Fun Socks from Big. That's right. No, uh, not wearing these. They did not come with the magic ticket inside like last time. Oh, that's a string, not a plastic deal, so I don't want to rip that. But anyway, Zoltar Socks, pretty sweet, from the movie Big with Tom Hanks. And who's the first person can tell me the female co-star of that movie? Please put your answer in the chat so that you can win an extra two names going into the next prize hat. Who was the female lead in Big? 
Cheers to you if you get it. So what do we got? Who knows who the female lead in the movie Big was? You're going to get yourself two more names in the hat. And then we're going to be moving on to the next section. Anybody? Anybody? Throw your, throw your answer in the chat. Get yourself a name for the next prize. Because that next prize, I already checked on shipping. It should be... It's... Uh, they were crafting it. And... Uh, it should be shipping soon so just so you know all right so uh oh here we go we got jokes on the thing here we go now when you throw a joke in the uh, chat let me tell you just so that I can catch it as opposed to other things throw a few uh, zeros ones just throw a few characters of any sort in front five or six to let me know that hey that's a joke asterisks whatever Whatever is your favorite key on the keyboard, just hit, just press it five or six times, then put your joke in. So anyway, so we're gonna go with uh, let's see, if we've got some jokes here. So first one might be so R.C. Rowland. What does a nine volt battery and a woman's a hole have in common? I'm already giggling. This isn't good. <laughs> Should have never done this. When I was drinking Tito's. You better, you know better, but you still put your tongue on it. <laughs> it's all right. You win. That's that's a name. <laughs> you win. You get an extra name to that for the next prize, RC Roll. Nathaniel Pulling throws up, what do hookers and flooring installers have in common? They do the best work on their knees. I was an insurance adjuster for 20 years. I know quite a few flooring adjusters, so you win with that one. Good one. <laughs> Another name in there. JCP! Elizabeth Perkins, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Congratulations. That is the female lead, and Nathaniel Pulling actually said it first. Since I said JCB first, you're both getting two names thrown back into the hat. Boom for the next prize. Don't worry, I'll keep a track of this later after we watch this video. But you both did it. My mistake to call JCB first, Nathaniel Pullen got it first. Uh, you both get it. Boom. That's how that works here. My mistake, your win. So there you go. All right, so what else we got going on here? Very fun stuff. Am I still, am I still actually broadcasting? I have no idea. I hope so. And if so, let me know. Who else we have got out of there? Elizabeth Ann Perkins. Oh, Nathaniel Pullen even throws the old middle name up in there. Whew, that kid comes to play. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, so let's go back to that chat real quick, see what else we got going on in there. Good group of folks. You can see all Nathaniel Pullen's answer going on there. Pretty sweet. All right, so we're going to also move on to, um, now we're going to up move on to the learning segment. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move on to Word of the Dave, and um, we've got a new word for you today, so you guys get ready for that. So Word of the Dave, get ready to learn, get your thinking caps on, and uh, Word of the Dave is fugacious, fugacious, that's right, fugacious. Anybody have any clues? Anybody have any ideas? <laughs> Uh, fugacious means tending to disappear or fleeting. Fugacious, tending to disappear or fleeting. And that is, my friend, word of the day. And word of the day, let me tell you, that, um, that particular word for today actually, um, <laughs> comes in handy. Uh, it's an absolute perfect word when it came up in my words of the day, uh, because I have, um, the Bushmill, uh, maiden flight video coming up after this stream at about 7 15 i got it set as a, a live premiere type thing so i'll be on the stream where you guys watch it if you happen to want to check that out give everybody a few minutes after this live stream to you know get on over there and check it out but um take a break and check it out but uh anyway yeah so that uh <laughs> that happens to be a perfect one for um that video coming up so anyway there's a little hint for you if you already haven't read the description on that video itself so yes sir so yes folks yes folks yes folks so what else we got going on here so i got some uh commenters um that i wanted to shout out for i had a guy that sent me a comment um and let's see if i still have his comment uh well gary poe just sent me a comment that he uh crashed his plane and he was commenting on my uh video which was the uh, the F-150 
uh, the Cessna F-150 when I smashed it in the side of the tractor trailer. <laughs> and his comment was, uh, I just crashed mine, uh, broke the tail section off the fuse, uh, and hot gluing it will fix but doubtful. Well, Gary Poe, if you happen to be watching, my friend, let me tell you, hot glue will fix it if, if, my friend, you put a little paper tape over it. Let me tell you, let that hot glue seep into that paper tape. It's like flexible fiberglass. It will never break again. That entire plane can, will be destroyed. That repair will still be there. Guaranteed. I guarantee it. Well, I guess I guarantee it. I mean, you didn't buy it for me, so there's nothing I can do to actually guarantee it. But anyway, so so what we're going to do next is, let's see, we're at the 630 range. That's about perfect because we're going to get ready to do some Know Your Neighbors. So it's another chance for you to get a chance to win some more of your names in there. So we're about to throw up some Know Your Neighbor action. And this is just um, a little segment I like to put together for the friends in the stream. It's not necessarily knowing your neighbor that lives next to you wherever you are in the United States or um, abroad, Brian Ford. Um, but it's Know Your Neighbor in the stream. All right. So somebody in the stream has a video that's going to be highlighted on my channel tonight, but it's not the video itself I want you to watch the video on their channel what I'm doing is I'm screenshotting just a portion of that video and then I'm putting it on here and then from there the first one to guess whose stream whose video that is will win uh, you're gonna win one extra name in the hat eh, I've had so much trouble this episode two extra names in the new hat and the person who actually has the video in here again trouble with the streams five names for this person going in the hat today so and this is for the next prize hat now the f-15 hat then the hat sealed this is the next prize hat that i just mentioned about the item that's currently being custom crafted <laughs> so yeah get ready for that um so yeah so here we go so we're gonna do a little know your neighbor action so know your neighbor everybody get ready think about all the videos that you've watched lately because this is not one that is lately i can tell you that this is where this is one that's been around a little while um, but I wanted to go ahead and throw it out there. So, know your neighbor. Whose video is this? I'm throwing my stars in the chat. So, anybody that's able to guess after that. Hey, Tagger and Players, good to see you. Thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to go some of those jokes while you guys are guessing on that. So, let me go back up here. Uh, what's Okay, JCB67. What's the difference in a bowling ball and a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader? I happen to be a Redskins fan. Oh, sorry, can't say that. Washington football team fan, born in D.C. I can't help it. Uh, so this joke sounds fantastic. It's already got me going. Please tell me the punchline on that one. R.C. Rowan, marriage is like playing cards. At the beginning, you have two hearts. At the end, you need a club and a spade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, actually, what I need to say, you won on that one. All right, so back to who, who we at? Who we at? EQ, EQ, that's right, Hamilton's hanger. God, Hamilton nailed it tonight. Yes, sir. Hamilton's hanger, that is right. That is EQOC. Let me get to my next little thing I'm going to do. And yes, EQOC's free wing F14 Tomcat taxi test. This video has been out for a few weeks now. And uh, if you would, please, if you're not already, and please, please, please subscribe to this man's channel. He does some fantastic custom work. He does some fantastic, just, I mean, just a neat guy to listen to for one, but you can watch him. And he does the, the whole gamut of everything I do here, except for boats. I don't do boats yet, but uh, or helicopters for that matter. But, um, but you know. I do I actually have one boat somewhere. <laughs> it's on my channel. Uh, but anyways, nonetheless, so yes, congratulations to EQRC. Five extra names in the new prize hat. And congratulations to Hamilton Tanger. You will get however many I said. I'm not going to say another number because I don't want uh, Tito's to throw out an extra number there. So, yes, congratulations with that. So thank you so much to everybody that played Know Your Neighbor there. Very cool, very cool, very cool. So who else has got some jokes up in this house? All right, so what do we got? Aerospace Matt, how do you wash a sheep? You give it a bath. Matt, that is dad joke level. I know you're not even a dad, most likely. <laughs> that is dad joke level. Ah, oh, dang it, I laughed at the end because I said it was a dad joke. You win. <laughs> I'm pretty easy to win. Pretty easy to win today, right, Tito? Si, senor. All right, so where are we at? I even told my mom to throw a joke in there. I talked to her during the week about throwing a joke. Mom, where's your joke? Come on, now. I gotta represent. Throw the joke up in there. Oh, so speaking of things, I don't know if you guys can see this. You probably can't. Let me see if I can go to a a different uh, screen here and make it a little easier. So you may see your up oh, bottle. Of course, let me move this out of the way. You may see I got a box. 
I got a box. And the reason I have this box is another quiz for more prizes on episode 13. And uh, this particular one is more about Instagram. Who happens to check me out on Instagram? And if so, this quiz is for you because I happen to post something earlier in the week with regard to Instagram. And uh, it happens to be about what well, you can see here at the arrow pointing at this particular video here. So now my question is, who knows what's in that box? Who knows what's in that box? Who's on my Instagram and who knows what's in that box? Who's got it? Is it a bowling ball? No, nope, it's not a bowling ball. That's a good one though. All right, so what's in this box? Who knows what's in this box? I threw my, my little asterisks in there. So let's see. And I see you guys are still, still throwing jokes in there. You can get three in a bowling ball. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Thomas Wano. A buddy asked me once, what's the most terrifying word in nuclear physics? Oops. <laughs> prize box. No, it's not another prize box. This is the prize box behind it. This is the box that was on. on. Oh, Love RC. Nails it. Love RC. Happen to check that out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I mentioned a minute ago. I don't do the helicopter thing. Oh, well, I do now, folks. <laughs> I do now. I just got the uh, Blade 230 in. This particular helicopter has been around a long time. But they have the Blade 330 on the E Flight, or not, sorry, the Real Flight uh, 9.5 Trainer Edition that came with the um, Habu. And uh, so I've been practicing a ton. So this thing is going to stay in the box <laughs> until I practice more. But uh, that's what I've been doing with that. So yes, congratulations to you for winning that as well. Love RC, you win, my friend. Congratulations and thank you for being an Instagram follower. I greatly appreciate that. And if you guys haven't checked out my Instagram, there it is again. And there's a bunch, a bunch of videos on there. What I originally started doing with that particular thing, because I'm a huge, uh, I love aerial photography, hence the cameras and stuff and just about everything up at the air. But I love aerial photography. So back in the day when this was uh, creative drones, um, all I would basically do is uh, sunrise and sunset shots, looking for the best stuff, things like that. So since then, I've kind of branched out into the RC thing after I got into the drones and things of that nature. But you'll see in the very beginning, a lot of sunset type stuff, things like that. But really cool stuff. Uh, sometimes I'll be driving down the freeway and <laughs> see a sunset, pull over, and take a picture of it. Because, you know, with clouds, it only lasts like two seconds, three seconds. So you got to get that photo. So, yeah, so I have done that. So. If you happen to want to check me out on the Instagram, that would be great. And if not, well, that is fine as well. It is not a requirement, just a request. So there we go. All right, so where are we sitting at here? It's on time. So we're at 637, so we're looking pretty good. What else we got going on here? Let's see. Let's see who else we got in the chat. Let's see what we can do about talking about some of these jokes. All right, let's get back up here to jokes. So why is, okay, so this is Brian Ford. Oh, this one's from Across the Pond, friends. So why is the camel known as the ship of the desert? It's full of Arab semen. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh, but too late. Already laughed. You win. JCB67. Thomas Milan. Okay, a buddy once asked me. Okay, who else has got a joke? Saw that. What's in the box? EQ. You got that. Okay, who else we got? Everything I see. Hey, Liam. Good to see you, buddy. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Good to see you as well. Been watching some of your videos here lately. Good stuff. It's always funny to watch you and your brother. Your brother's too funny when he's videoing you. I still never forget that first video. My eyes! <laughs> if you haven't seen that, you guys got to watch everything RC's videos. Uh, he's got one on there with his little brother filming him. And he <laughs> flies into the sun and something just burns his eyeballs. <laughs> he's so funny. Oh, uh, it's totally funny. Uh, good stuff. So, yeah. So, good stuff there. So, I appreciate that. Thank you, Leon, and thank you to everybody that's being here and, and continuing to hang out with this particular, what started off to be a dumpster fire of a, of a, of a stream, so I really appreciate you still hanging around, because it's a toughie, so cheers to you. So, let's go ahead and warm up the uh, David Yourself Magic 8-Ball, get a little forecast of what we're thinking about. I don't want to do it right before we do the bingo because, you know, last time it was like you're not going to have winter and then I had to roll the bingo. Now I just want to give it a little forecast. I want to just feel it out a bit. So let's do a little uh, Dave It Yourself Magic A-Ball. So let's see what we got here. So 
the question is, first of all, will there be a winner? First of all, now I have added the new subscribers straight up to the bingos because I'm trying to fill this bingo up. I think I have 75 spots. So if I can get 75 people on that bingo, then every time I roll it, I'm <laughs> going to give something away. I already have the prize set out, ready to go. It's a double prize plus a t-shirt. So I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a heck of a prize. So here we go. Will we get a winner on bingo first roll tonight gave it yourself magic gate ball here we go <sighs> outlook good <laughs> i'm liking that i'm liking that and i'm thinking you're liking that too so everybody stick around because even a magic eight david yourself magic eight ball says that looks good first roll tonight we're gonna have a winner i'm pretty excited about that oh i can feel my feet already warm up we did dance okay here we go uh, oh, oh here we go folks mom's throwing her joke up all right so let's see people that fall sick at the airport probably have terminal illness <laughs> And, uh, and it's funny, the first thing that comes to my mind is Tom Hanks. Not because he had that COVID or because he has an illness, because he was in that movie Terminal. <laughs> very funny. Did you hear the one about the dad who loves camping? Camping, It's very intense. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Good stuff. All right, so I appreciate you guys bringing your jokes to the forefront. That is always good, good stuff. So... I didn't want to, uh, before we get into uh, the bingo call out and all that, I wanted to go ahead and remind everybody that we are, in fact, still giving away this Aeros F15, this one right here, brand spanking new in the box. Um, you're going to see my maiden flight where I was uh, took the uh, Avios Bush Mule to the field, uh, flying in a completely separate area, not around the houses this time. Uh, took four bags of the coins, which I think was like 120 coins, uh, and I was going to test them for the weight and all that kind of stuff. So that's coming up. Uh, that particular premiere video is coming up here at the end of uh, this stream. Actually, it's 7:15. Give you that, you know, 15 minute break for whoever needs to be holding one or whatever. So speaking of holding one, since I am holding, ta-da! Make it disappear. I'm a magician. Anyway, so very cool. So get ready for that. So I'm very excited about that because this ought to be. Let me tell you, it'll be it'll be something else. Getting rid of this F15. I'm really looking to probably do it because this uh, and this maiden flight I did last Sunday, which was Easter. So I'd already done the maiden flight before my live stream last week, and I'm really hoping to because that was just test one. So I'm really hoping to get. A really good coin drop with the target sometime maybe this week, weather permitting, and then from there hopefully next weekend maybe go ahead and do the uh, go ahead and do the somehow drop uh, for the um, for the arrows at 15 there, and that's going to involve those coins. I still got to spray paint the coins, write everybody's number on them. Everybody's number is already associated inside the description of this particular stream. Again, I tried to update that, and it also shows you your name amounts going in there and things of that nature and also puts in parentheses what episode you may have won those amounts in uh, to kind of help keep some reference there uh, so we've got that coming up I think I have close to 80 I think names total 80 coins going in there uh, total so it's going to be a heck of a thing the plan is basically to drop it from the plane uh, and then I've got a, an inflatable tube uh, just a little pool tube for kids I think it's a flamingo job as a matter of fact I thought I had it here somewhere but anyway you get the point and then a wooden skewer in the middle drop the coins and then from there slow motion camera everything ready to go to capture all of that carnage watch them hit the tube bounce off some of them go in the closest one to the stick wins if there are a couple of that are close to the stick <laughs> we load them back up and we drop them again so that's how that's going to work until we have one winner and then that's how that's going to work for the air 15 arrows at 15 and then from there like i said it's a 300 $300 plane or something like that and then I'm going to ship it to you for free so I mean why would you not be subscribed and not want to be a part of that plus if I'm already doing that what's my next prize going to be <laughs> it's being custom crafted so I can tell you it's worth sticking around for it's definitely worth subscribing and it's definitely worth giving this channel a thumbs up that's for sure so all right so here we go with uh oh, we got a, a message that could be possibly raunchy uh youtube is asking me if I want to show it it's from love rc of course I'm going to show it <laughs> 
<laughs> so money, money, money. Okay, so two men meet on the opposite sides of a river. One shouts to the other, I need you to help me get to the other side. The other guy replies, you're on the other side. <laughs> That's like, that's almost like a, uh, that's like a, uh, oh gosh, I can't, I'm, uh, I'm totally spaced last day, but that's a, that's a good one. You wait on that one. All right, I was flying a new plane, and I flipped it over in the water. Oh, every, I thought that was a joke. I thought that was a joke, Liam. <laughs> flying a new airplane with floats and flipped over in the water. Speaking of playing with floats, I still got the A-10, the UMX A-10 coming. I got my, uh, went to the storage unit this past weekend and got all my uh, UMX planes that were hanging on like the stringer. And I've got two sets of the UMX floats. So I'm going to pull one off, probably that little MIG F-15. And then from there, i um, going to go ahead and custom paint them to look just like the UMX A-10. And then that thing is the first thing that thing hits is water. I'm never going to fly it off the thing, land. And if it flies right, if it doesn't fly right, then then I have to dry it out in a bag of rice or something later. I'll pull the floats off and put the landing gear on. But right now, uh, right now I got to get an adapter for those batteries because I got one at the hobby store and they gave me the wrong one. So I already returned it. Already pre-ordered the other one. So anyway, so there's that. So we're getting ready to go through there. Hey, free range chickens in the house. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So good to see you as well. Who else? We got a best new up in hey, AR, ARG Vision. Late to the party, but hey, well, you're at the party, so I appreciate it. And you happen to be ARG Vision. I think you might be a little crafty, to be honest with you. You showed up at 645. Oh, oh, is this about the time Dave starts calling out names for the bingo? Yes. You dang cheater. You need to be here at 6 o'clock. <laughs> Uh, today you needed to be here about 6.11 because it was about 11 minutes of dumpster fire for this live stream before it actually got to got to rolling on some wheels. So anyway, but I appreciate you being here when you do get here. Even if you get here at the last second, I still appreciate you being here because it's a lot of effort for you guys to be here, I'm sure, because you probably have better things to do. And I try to at least fill one hour of your Sunday with at least a little something different than what you may have already been doing all week. So speaking of that let's get the bingo i'm gonna go ahead and start shouting out some names now these names also have the um uh the actual new subscribers on there as well so we're gonna shout them out i'm gonna shout out your name first to alert you that your number is coming and then i'm gonna shout out your number so that you know what that is so we're gonna start with bees obviously because it's bingo so bees so we're gonna go dave baker is b1 we got tug hill rc is b2 we got love rc that is b3 New subscriber, Poncho1576 is B4. I don't think he's in the stream, so. Anyway, Everything RC, Liam is B5. Another new subscriber, My Country Life USA is B6. Nicholas Turner, B7. Tiger and Plays, B8. Barry Campbell, B9. Bad Rooster, B10. Nathaniel Pilling, B11. Serge Dussault, B13. Nate, 1976-100. B14, and Michael Rochka. B15. Now we go to the eyes. We got Reckham Roy at I16. We got a new subscriber, J Hawk at I17. We got another new subscriber, Fanachios. Uh, Finasharo's Hobby Outlet. I am so sorry if I'm slaughtering that. I don't see in the stream, so I don't think I'm too worried about it. But Finachios, Finachiaro's Hobby Outlet. Yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, B18. 2ERC is, uh, I'm sorry, I9, I18. 2ERC is I19. Finaccio's I18. King Joffrey, I20. Timothy Nelson, I23. Mike SSI, t- I25. Wild Bill, I26. Is Wild Bill in the house tonight? I mean, is Wild Bill in here? I don't think I've shot out a Wild Bill tonight. Huh, I wonder what all Wild Bill's up to tonight. We got old Jerry Johnson at I-27. We got Christopher Morgan at I-28. David Barnes, I-29, and Boss223 at I-30. Then we got old Kenneth Wise at I-M-31. Mickey BRC at M-32. Randy Hardy at M-33. We got JCB67 at N36, Musky Bob at N37, previous winner, by the way. Eric D. Johnson, 74 at N39. Also previous winner, although he was so gracious to give up his gift, but Brian Ford is at N40. Quinny Perks, Quinny Perks is N41. Free range chicken, just love saying that, is N43. And ARG Vision, you are N45, my friend. Now we're going to G. Joe Habib, G46. Randy Butterfield, G47. Dennis Farley, you are... Uh-oh, sorry. I'm trying to get back into the stream. Dennis Farley, you are G49. TNRC Pilot. 
previous winner. You are G50. RC Roland, you are G52. Girls Rock Metal Detecting is G54. Mickey BRC, G55. EQRC is G57. Mechdale is G58. And which we mentioned earlier, and uh, Lee Davidson's hanger is G59. KBRC is G60. Now into the O's. O's was a hot, hot, hot week. Week before last. Last week was frozen. Frozen. This week, we'll see. But last two weeks ago, O Shadow Ops is O61. Previous winner, Pilot Jerry RC at O62. C Mafia. 063, Thomas Morano 065, Steve Prater is 066, Jeff in Lower Alabama. I didn't see Jeff in here tonight. Did I see Jeff in here tonight? Anyway, Jeff in Lower Alabama is 068, Hamilton's Hangers 069, Thomas M is 071, Joe Habib is 073, Kit Kaiser is 074, and Beeson Corey is 075. All right, so there we go, friends. There's the numbers. So let's see what we've got going on here. I'm going to go ahead and move the old blade heli off to the side. Grab the old bingo box. Boop -a -doop. Oh, bingo, bingo. I love some bingo, 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 bingo. I love some bingo, 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 bingo. I love some bingo, 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 a bingo. All right, that's enough of that. Some dancing to do. I don't want to give out all my energy on my singing. I mean, come on. All right, so what else we got? Oh, and by the way, if you throw your joke in the stream tonight, and I didn't happen to get to it during the stream because it's only an hour, if I laugh at it later, I will still pay you the extra point for making me laugh. Don't worry. So throw your jokes in there, throw them in hard. If you make me laugh more than once, you get more than one name in there. So, all right, so we're going to go with this. The crazy eight ball said. Uh, I'll look good. We're going to go ahead and give it the old shake up. Then we're going to look at the crazy eight ball again and see what we got. Oh, baby. Uh oh. Ball on the loose. Ball on the loose. Pardon me. All right, so ball on the loose. I haven't looked at it, but I do have a ball that fell out. I'm going to throw it into the comments. Should I use this ball as the ball or throw it back in the basket and roll a fresh one? What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. No one likes the ball on the loose. No one likes it. Shadow Ops says no. I already got a no. Boom, back in there. All right, ball on the loose. It's gone. All right, here we go. No fresh roll with ball on the loose in there. All right, here we go. Great. David, David yourself, Magic Gate Ball. Where we win, where we win. As I see it, yes. <laughs> that's two, folks. That's two. So excited. Okay. Let's get these hands warmed up. Oh, Miyagi style. Here we go. Here we go. Pretty excited here. Pretty excited. Here we go. All right. All right. It is a winner. Although I do not know if he's in the house. This number is G47, which happens to be Mr. Randy Butterfield. Randy Butterfield, are you in the house? Randy Butterfield, you have 30 seconds, my friend. I'm putting some stars in the chat. Shout it out. Shout it out. Randy Butterfield, G47. We have a winner. Maybe. Maybe. Anybody? Anybody? Uh, let's try to be cricket sounds. <laughs> I need a sound effects machine. Boop, crickets. No, Randy. Well, no, Randy. Show 13. Got to go again. <laughs> What do we got? Oh, I'm giving something away. I'm going to give it three swings, just like in baseball. We either get a winner or we don't. All right. So this one is, all right. All right. This is also a potential another winner, but I don't know that they're in the stream. G59 is Lee Davidson's hanger. Lee Davidson, where you at? Please tell me you're in the shop tonight. 
been watching your videos a lot lately. You know me, I love cameras on planes, and every one of your videos got a camera on a plane, so I love them. So, Lee Davidson Tanger, please tell me your announce tonight. Please tell me your announce tonight. Please tell me. If you know Lee, you know either of these cats at this point. They're not on the stream tonight. Next time you comment on the video, be like, hey, by the way, you lost out on a sweet prize and gave yourself the other night. I know the suspense energy. I can't stand it myself. <sighs> the ball line. The ball line. What the what? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Give me a better answer. You give me a really good answer and you give me two. Oh, wrong. Nothing happened. Outlook. Good. You said that earlier. God. Dang it, stupid ball. You change your fluid out. <laughs> what is that blue fluid anyway? Anyway, we're doing it. All right. One more. All right. Two did fall out, so. <laughs> you know me. I'm a softy for that second one that falls out. All right, here we go. We are living at M32. <gasps> this is Mickey BRC. Is Mickey B in the house? Was Mickey B in here earlier? Don't tell me. Don't tell me Mickey B is not here now. Oh, don't tell me I pulled three people and they're not on my stream. Are you kidding me? What do I have to do to get stuff away for free? What is wrong with this planet? Dang it. Come on. No, Mickey. All right. Well, and I just saw Mickey the other night on Jeff's channel with his live stream. And as a matter of fact, last episode, he was Know Your Neighbor. So he gets Know Your Neighbor last week he gets a prize this week no mickey so same thing you got to get on to mickey's channel you gotta get, gotta get on to mickey ebrc's channel and you gotta tell him hey you missed out you missed out let me let me just let me just show you what the prize was not to mention a david yourself t-shirt of course but right off the bat look at this prize pack sr71 solid steel metal uh, puzzle and two rolls, two rolls of paper tape and a David Yourself t shirt. Back in the box. Back in the box. You can't say I didn't try. You can't say I didn't try. I mean, I, th I swing three times. There is that extra ball. There is that extra ball. I'm going to look at it. Ooh. Because you know. Show 14. Gosh dang it! I have another person who actually happens to be on here, and it's one of my new subscribers. And as a matter of fact, I want to say they may have actually got this number pulled last week. Coiny Perks N41. I pulled four balls. Four people that are subscribed to this channel that should be in the stream right now could have won. Oh, they didn't. So you need to go to his stream as well and his videos and be like, yeah, you guys missed out. You could have had something absolutely for free. So you'd have gotten that free stuff, the t-shirt. I probably would have thrown some decals in there. Oh. But nope, negative. No winners. And these two, no, I already did four tonight. You can't say I didn't try. You can't say I didn't try. But this is two weeks. And Pilot Jerry, he won two weeks ago. Uh, he got his stuff, told me. Uh, Jeff in Lower Alabama, I'd be honest with you, I don't know if he still got his stuff yet. But I'm really interested because Jeff won. He won one of these things. Oh. Let me see if I can get it out without knocking myself over. Yeah. Jeff won one of these. One of these uh, battery operated chase cams. You slap your cell phone in it and it follows you. So while you're recording, you can sit it on the ground and this thing will just follow him with his phone stuck in it. I don't even know if he got it or used it. So anyway, if you win something, just let me know that you got it. I don't care if you use it. Just let me know that you got it. <laughs> And I appreciate to Thomas Milano and um, who else won last uh, week before last. I greatly appreciate you letting me know that you got it. Oh, Musky Bob. Yeah. So, yeah. It's very cool. Very cool. So, anyway, folks, you can't go and try. I mean, I, uh, four. Four names. I don't do four. Four. Three is the number. I don't do four. I did four tonight because, you know, this is kind of a dumpster fire beforehand when we first started this show. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier... In case you're interested, in about 17 minutes from now, yeah, 17 minutes from now, I do have the Bush Mule made in video. I did fly it this past week. Uh, have that video coming out. 
So those that are excited about the F-15 uh, giveaway, and you can see the F-15 sitting right here. This is mine. Yours is still in the box. But um, if you're excited about this F-15 giveaway, just know this video that has been a culmination of my other videos, and I know my other two videos didn't do that well because I'm not really a assembly type guy which is totally fine but with that particular two videos they were well, they went all right this next one i think i'd probably do better it doesn't really matter to me necessarily uh the fact is i want to give this f-15 away i want to be a foam lanthropist and the easiest way for me to do that is give away foam planes for free and the only thing you have to do to get a foam plane for free for me is just subscribe and then the only thing you have to do to win free stuff every sunday for no other reason just to win stuff is to be here during the chat so thank you again to everybody that is in the chat today i greatly appreciate it so does it fly like the otter i'm going to get some of these questions here so arg vision does it fly like the otter well the otter's a little smaller uh and the otter uh, i i would say probably very similar but of course the um um bush mule i think it's 1.4 1.5 meters or something so it's bigger uh but very similar uh the otter is really great construction uh and if you watch my videos about the putting it together you'll kind of highlight i highlight the things that were kind of a pain on the nuggets such as the hardware but uh the foam and stuff is beautiful all that's absolutely fantastic uh, it's not a it's not an fms plane <laughs> with that regard but um but yeah so there, it has its own issues let's put it that way so until until further notice i'll probably still be a e-flight horizon hobby <laughs> fanboy i guess um just because they get they better great stuff that flies great right out of the dang box i mean and i need all the help i can dang get <laughs> so when it comes to flying stuff so yeah so i appreciate that take a sledgehammer to the eight ball shadow up said well the, the the eight ball technically technically was true if you think about it i mean it did say you would pull some winners every time i roll it it did say i'd pull a winner I pulled four winners. It's not my fault they weren't here, right? <laughs> I try to give stuff away. I try. <laughs> so we'll see. So I appreciate it. So yeah, so Tokyo's waiting on that UMX A10 float video. That one's coming up soon. As a matter of fact, I don't know who happens to be going to the Pilot Ryan thing, and I know we're over at 7 o'clock already. So I don't know who's going to the Pilot Ryan thing, but I'll probably made in that thing there. We'll see, because there's a lake nearby. So anyway, FPV or bird, Shadow Ops. I did start looking at that. I already have tilt, pan, tilt. Uh, mechanisms that I already uh, bought aeons ago and right now I'm looking at head tracker software because I actually have a head tracker goggle FPV set um, that has been coming from China forever so whenever that gets here but yes that is coming soon as well because I want to be able to see my stuff too so again I know we're running over time here if you wouldn't mind I would greatly appreciate love seeing you guys in my um, premiere video which is coming up with that bush mule um, that ought to be well, it's a good video. Uh, you know, it's about a 20-something minute, minute video. No assembly, nothing like that. But you do get to see some more problems that the Bush Mule has. You see some pilot error. And then you see some uh, DIY creative thinking coming up toward the end. So I hope to see you there. I greatly appreciate everybody being here tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for helping me stick around with the dumpster fire in the morning. Again, you're all busy doctors with lots of patience. And I greatly appreciate it. So until next time, I am Dave. This is the Dave at Your Shelf Dave it yourself. Thanks, Tito. Dave it yourself. Shenanigannery. And until next time, I am out of here. Nice.